Hello everyone, this is Amit. In this video, we'll learn how you can install TextFX plugin on Notepad++. Now, probably you uh, came across this video because you were having a hard time installing text, TextFX plugin for Notepad++. And so we are going to look into two different ways, uh, one with a 32-bit application of Notepad++, and the other is with 64-bit application. Now, if you're not aware of TestFX plugin, it's a very popular plugin, which unfortunately has not been developed as much as it used to, uh, but still it is very popular uh, when you are working with different text and it can do sorting and, and a lot of lot of features. So we'll, we'll take a look at once we install it. And so if you are having a trouble with installing this FX, test FX plugin, or if you don't see that uh, in your plugin manager in Notepad++, uh, the first thing that we need to know is the official uh, release for test FX plugin is only available for 32-bit application of Notepad++. So let me open Notepad++. Uh, and first of all, you need to find out whether you have a 32-bit application or a 64-bit application. And so the easiest way to check it out is go to this question mark and then just go to about Notepad++, this question mark and about Notepad++. And you can see I have a Notepad++ version 8.4.2 and right in this bracket, it says 32-bit. Now, if you do see 64-bit here, which is actually by our default installation nowadays from Notepad++ website, then probably you will have a hard time installing this, this plugin. And so if that is the case, let me actually go to the Notepad++ website. And I'm going to go to the download section. And let's say there are these are different versions. So the, let's look at the latest. So I'm going to click on here. And you can see by default, Notepad++ or, or the default installation is usually 64-bit. And that is doesn't play well with TextFX. If you would like to use TestFX plugin, I think the easiest way is to actually install 32-bit application. Uh, for the most people who are using Notepad++, it's not going to make a huge difference. Uh, unless you are working with a really, really large files. Uh, uh, so in that case, I would suggest actually just scroll down, look at this 32-bit uh, Notepad++ and install that rather than installing the other one. If you already have the 64-bit Notepad++ installed, you can still install 32-bit application and both will reside in its own folders. But if you don't want to be confused, you can uninstall uh, Notepad++ 64-bit. And in order to uninstall, all you have to do is just type uninstall, uh, whether you have Windows 10 or Windows uh, Windows 11, and then go to add and remove program. <clears throat> and just search in the app list for Notepad, and it should show up. And you can even see right here 32-bit. So I only have 32-bit application. If you do have 64, you can just right-click and then uninstall. All right. So as I said, that's the easiest way to install uh, TestFX. Uh, and we will see because once you have Notepad++ 32-bit application, as was the case in, in my uh, application here, uh, I can go to Plugins. And I can go to Plugin Admin. And then I can just simply search for TestFX. And right here, you can see that TestFX character and, again, it, it has a tons of features uh, that you can take a look. So I'm going to select this, click Install, and Notepad++ is going to install TestFX application for me. And the way in which you can check this is actually uh, TestFX creates a new menu item right here on the top. Usually plugins have their own plugin menu inside plugin. But TestFX, since they have so many features, it, it has its own sort of uh, plugin menu. And so you can see you can play with the characters, uh, uh, different text. Uh, you can add codes. You can, you know, I mean, again, I should make another video just for TestFX. Uh, but it can do a lot of text editing uh, and do uh, really cool stuff. And probably, as I said earlier, you know, the reason why probably you want to install TestFX because you saw uh, some of these features that would be useful to you, right? And so that's how you install uh, as i said the easiest and the most uh, simplest is install notepad plus plus 32-bit application and then just use a plugin manager so this is the easiest
matter, right? Now, there could be a time where you would like to install it uh, manually. You know, sometimes you have an older version of Notepad++ and for some reason, this plugin admin doesn't show up. And so in that case, uh, you don't need to worry. You can still install Notepad uh, TaxFX manually, uh, but it requires a little bit of work. And so uh, in order to install it manually, you just need to go to this location. And so let me open my C drive. And then go to C program files x86. Uh, because if you have a 32 bit, bit application, it actually install it in C program files x86. And then go to Notepad plus plus and go to plugins. And right here I have NPP test FX. So let's go to our uh, online. Uh, actually, I'm going to post a link in the description below so you can click on that. It actually is, the GitHub page seems to be the <clears throat> source code, but here is the original uh, uh, TestFX plugin. And so I'm going to post the link. And what you need to do is you need to download the zip file. Uh, then you need to un to install it. So let's do that. And basically, it has only one DLL, NPP test uh, textfx.dll. And what you need to do is you need to go to your C drive, program files x86, uh, Notepad++, plugins, and then just create a folder called NPP testfx. And then simply the zip file, just, just copy and paste it here. Now, because you are copying these DLL in the program files folder or programs file x86 folder, you will need an admin rights or it will ask you to basically accept, you know, and make sure that you have the admin rights for that. All right, so that's how you can install a Notepad++ test FX plugin manually. All right. Now, so far we looked into 32-bit application. As I said, plugin manager is the easiest. But if you do want to install it manually, I'm going to post the link and you just copy and paste it in this, this particular location. I forgot to put NPP test FX, but it's, it doesn't matter. You can create a folder called test FX and that would also work. Uh, for 64-bit uh, application, the story is a little difficult. Uh, there is no official plugin release. And so uh, it is going to be hard. There is a 64-bit TestFX plugin, and I'm going to post the link below in the description. So if you do want to install on your 64-bit application, you can do that manually. However, uh, it is not fully supported, and it may have some issues. And so uh, it is not fully tested, uh, and, and there are some features that are missing. But if you still want to try it out, actually, I have a link. Let's see. So here is a 64-bit uh, Notepad++ test FX plugin. Uh, and the, the installation is exactly the same. You download this DLL. Uh, but in the case of 64-bit application of Notepad++, you won't find it under C program files x86. It will be under C and then program files. And then there will be a Notepad++ folder. And I don't have that installation. That's why I don't have all the file, uh, folders. But you should see a plugin folder and then create a test FX folder and then copy and paste that DLL uh, from here. And that should uh, help you to use uh, test FX 64-bit application with your 64-bit Notepad++. So I hope uh, it was not too confusing. Uh, but uh, if you do want to find the easiest route, I would say still just install 32-bit application and just use plugin manager. And that should be uh, fairly si simple and straightforward. As you can see, I already have it right here. So I hope uh, you are a, you will be able to install this uh, plugin. If you had still problems, uh, feel free to add a comment and I'll try to help you out. Uh, and by the way, check out my channel also. I post new videos about Notepad++ and programming in general. And so if you like the content, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. All right. Thank you very much. Bye.